Good morning. It is Monday, December 16th. December 16th. Today is also uh, Jeff Carter's birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday, so, Jeff Carter. Yeah, happy birthday, Jeff Carter. Absolutely. We've got so many. Let me speak to Mr. Carter. He's yep. been under the weather. Yep. And, and Miss Corinne has been under the weather. Mm -hmm. And so we've had lots of sickness around. So we yeah. want to wish them all well Absolutely. and quick recovery. And we can't wait to see you back. Of course. Of course. Yes. We're getting close to Christmas, aren't we? Oh, my gosh. Yes. And do you know Do you know what yesterday was? What was yesterday? And we didn't celebrate it? What? National Cupcake Day. National Cupcake Day? Yes. And we oh. didn't have cupcakes. Cakes. Well, you owe me some cupcakes then. I know. I didn't plan well, did I? I like chocolate, by the way. You do? I do. Okay. I How like do you chocolate? feel about Christmas candy? I'm good with regular candy. I mean, Just candy I, in yeah, general? Like, I love Reese's Cups. Oh, me too. Reese's Cups. Can't my, make peanut butter and chocolate. My mother-in-law always brings me <laughs> Reese's Cups and Snickers <laughs> for our stocking. Oh. Because my wife and I are still children. Yes. But. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> my, my husband's a Snickers guy, and we get him those little bite size, and we put them in the freezer. Yeah. And he likes to eat them frozen. Yeah. And oh, yeah, he thinks that's wonderful. But is that a, just a Christmas thing? No, that's an all the year, all around See, the well, year. See, well, mine is a specific Christmas thing, so we need to start talking about I think now okay. is a good time for Christmas Let's traditions. Let's talk about think? Christmas traditions. You think that's a good yes, idea? Yes, I think that's you? awesome. What do you do? We have all kinds kinds of fun things we yeah. do. You know, some of them traditional, some of them totally our own. So traditional things, you know, especially when the kids were young, all my kids are now grown, but when the kids were little, was mm. we would always leave, you know, cookies sure. and something cocoa, sometimes spiked cocoa for Santa. Sure. Santa <laughs> yes. needs that. Long, Santa needs long those ride. cookies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or candy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I actually, one year, I think Lexi wanted to leave him a sandwich because she was worried about him getting diabetes. <laughs> So we left him a sandwich. <laughs> but Lexi was always very animated. That's yeah. good. I like that. <laughs> yeah. That, but that he got sounds some like Lexi kind of treat. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like that sounds like Lexi. To me. Yeah. So um the one that's really strange that my family does, with that I think should just take off around the world, is mm -hmm. we have the sneaky elves. The sneaky elves. Sneaky elves. When uh, Lexi was little, like two or maybe two years old, uh -huh. my nieces are a tiny bit older okay. than her okay. and she got they got a puppy for christmas okay and so santa couldn't leave the puppy under the tree so he had to bring it on christmas eve and so he wrapped it in a little basket with a bow and mm -hmm. put it on the front porch mm -hmm. and rang the doorbell the, the elves did okay and so the sneaky elves left the puppy oh yes oh. <laughs> so then every year because we can't get a puppy every year although mm -hmm. lexi personally would love to get a kitty every year i've gotten two this week from her, <laughs> um, we get pajamas from the Sneaky Elves pajamas. now every okay. year. And cool. my son, who That's is in Phoenix, who's a computer programmer, still gets a visit from the Sneaky Elves. It just comes in the mail. I see. I and see. I, he is required. It's good that the elves can mail. That's they good. can. I, that's because good. Yeah. they don't have the capability like Santa does sure. to, to get everywhere yeah, as quickly. He, so it's difficult. They mail his ahead of time yep. since he's a grown up. Super smart. You know? yep. and, but he is required to send us pictures every year that I put on Facebook <laughs> in his pajamas. <laughs> well, that's actually really creative. Um, ours isn't really all that. It's basic. I mean, I guess... For the basic sense of the word tradition, it's fairly traditional. I mean, we uh, Christmas when I was younger, Christmas Eve, we always had a Christmas event or get together for our distant relatives. Yes. But now the only grandchild in the family is my daughter. <laughs> so everybody, She's the jackpot. so everybody just comes <laughs> to our house yeah. uh, on on Christmas. Uh, we, you know, my wife and I and Izzy, we wake up Christmas morning. Izzy's three now, so this is actually going to be a really fun yeah, Christmas. Yeah, she'll wake you up at four in the morning. She yeah. only does it anyway, so that's <laughs> fine. Um, but uh, no, I mean we we do the basic stuff: the you know the the cookies, the milk, the Santa coming and you know bringing the presents mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And then during the day, we have a big old feast. It's it's basically Thanksgiving 2.0. Yes, just with presents. So, um, ours is a fairly traditional tradition <laughs> yeah. uh, that is of Thanksgiving, or of Christmas, not Thanksgiving. That's awesome. Yeah. I would like to hear some of our viewers. Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Well, I, I just kind of assumed that everybody did basically the same thing for Christmas until mm -hmm. you told me about the sneaky elf thing just now. Sneaky elf. That's our own little thing. And so you I all would feel like free to, to steal it. Yeah, there so. might be some really creative ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, have you ever heard of the Christmas pickle? Uh, <laughs> I, I I have. Uh -huh. I, um, you actually asked me to look into that mm -hmm. and I found it actually quite interesting where because nobody really knows where it started 
it's what a glass pickle ornament, right? Yes. Yes. And then the and first, they hide it in the tree. And the first person that finds it gets either an extra gift or a a treat of some kind. A treat of some kind, mm -hmm. or some fortune, or expected mm -hmm. fortune, like a fortune. Oh, like good luck. Yeah, like good luck. Exactly. Nice. Um, and then I think that it's it's right now only in North America. I do believe it's only in North America. And North Americans that do believe or do practice mm -hmm. the, um, the glass the pickle, glass pickle mm -hmm. or the Christmas pickle think that it's from Germany when in fact Germany has no idea that this thing even exists, which is... But you know, the Germans drink a lot. They, they do. They so forget. maybe they just forgot. I'm half German, so yes. <laughs> we forget. We're just very forgetful people, period. Okay. We're just, so we're they just forgot yeah. the pickle came from there and so, yeah. So, so either way, they thing. think it came from um, Camp Sumter during the Civil War. Nice. By a Bavarian immigrant that was a American state. Or Old, a, soldier? A United um, States Union soldier. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I would love to hear about your Christmas traditions. Exactly. I did put a post out on Facebook um, last week, one day, and I heard back from Lisa Davenport. Oh, cool. Okay. And she said she loves to put all the kids in the car on Christmas Eve, make cocoa, and drive around the neighborhoods and look at the Christmas lights and oh, drink the cocoa yes, with the, the lights, kids. The lights. So I, I did that Christmas as a child. Lights. I haven't really done that much with uh, Izzy yet. She so probably I'll really enjoyed that, that this year. She's what, kind of at that age now. In our town, there's actually this little Christmas lights tour that they just started this oh. year. So I think I'm going to have to do that. And so, I, have you ever been over to the Carthage? Uh, no. Monastery. Yes. Actually, that's I, I'm a bold face liar because we did that last year. Okay. Well, that's okay. It's so cool. We have a, a Told you, Vietnamese we forget. monastery. We forget. In we forget. Our German. We have a uh, Vietnamese <laughs> monastery uh -huh. in Carthage, which is just about 30 minutes away. And they do a beautiful light display every year that you can drive through and it plays music uh -huh. on the radio and it yeah. helps fund their. Their ministry. And that's the same thing that, that I went to, I think. It's over there on, um, anyway, that's yeah, not. Carthage. Yeah, Carthage. It's in Carthage, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we went we went to that last year, so. Do you have food traditions? Um, so, this was actually a point of contention in my family during oh. Thanksgiving. Actually, Thanksgiving. Because my belief is that ham does not belong on a Thanksgiving table. Now, I know that this is Christmas time and we should uh -huh. be having this conversation, but I am I feel adamantly about this, Lisa. Okay. Do you feel like turkey should not belong on a Christmas table? I think that ham is a Christmas thing. Okay. And you can also have a turkey because who doesn't love turkey? Yeah. I love turkey. But you can't have ham on Christmas. No, I mean, you, you can, can have it on Christmas, not on Thanksgiving. Right. Even if you have a turkey, you can't have ham on Thanksgiving? No. Ham you is hear a, ham it, you is, heard it here first. It's though. a ham. It's a Christmas ham. <laughs> it's a Christmas ham. <laughs> Nobody says it's a Thanksgiving turkey. Well, maybe they well, do. yes, they do. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> I think I just lost my debate. You know, I, hope, gonna... I really hope my wife isn't watching You know, this. that was going to be our national bird. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, I know the turkey was... I'm so glad it was the bald eagle. I'm so glad it was the bald eagle. <laughs> turkeys are more ugly. regal. But, turkeys are but ugly. turkeys taste better. Turkeys taste Well, not that I've ever tasted an eagle, but... <laughs> turkey's better. <laughs> so... Yeah. You know, American bald eagles are protected. Protected. Yes. I don't yes. know. Yeah, you better not know what they I taste don't know like. what they taste like. No. Mm -hmm. um, and then we love, I always try to make some kind of casserole uh -huh. Christmas Eve uh -huh. that I can just put in the fridge overnight and pop in the oven in the morning. Okay. That way, when we get done with the fanfare when we first get up. Sure. I can put that in before we start. Okay. Nobody even notices I slip in and pop it in the oven and then breakfast is ready when we're done. I have actually created two dishes. I've invented two dishes, and they're all for the day after, both Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm. And I call them Thanksgiving casserole and Christmas casserole. Now listen here. Okay, Those leftovers us. that you have. Yes. All your baked beans, your green beans, your mashed potatoes, your gravy, your turkey, blah, blah, blah. Baked beans? Sometimes. Ma That's macaroni. That's the of July. We have, you know, we go we there's like in my family there's like there's tons okay. of dishes. Okay? All right. Well, what you do is you take your plate, you take your leftovers, mm -hmm. and you just throw it all on there, and then you throw it in the microwave, and you have a Thanksgiving and or Christmas casserole. It's delicious. I'm a really good cook. <laughs> Let me just tell you, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> if it's you good. need if you need good after holiday recipes, reach out to salt. me. I can give you <laughs> good it's recipes. Already, it's already cooked and everything. It's just. All of it together. So all basically, of you just put it in a casserole dish instead of a plate. No, you put it on a plate, and then you just... Well, how, why I, is that just not a leftover because I call plate it a in the microwave? Because that's why I call it. I call it a casserole. 
Because that's how I see a castle. Is it just a bunch <laughs> of stuff put together? Okay. Well, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Try All the right, Christmas guys. Casserole. I'm going to have to take him in the other room and have a talk with him about what he's eating. So I'm going to sign off for today, and we will see you back on Wednesday. See you Wednesday. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>